g'day again. Here I am out in the front yard this time and I wanted to show you what I've been doing here. I've been collecting grass. Three different lengths, some shorter stuff and some very long stuff and way over here, which you may not be able to get to very fast, is this grass that is growing, uh, this, my lawn clippings. Now they're going to stay out of use for around three months or more. But they're building, and this is a later lot. There's a whole stack over in the other side that have been down for a whole year. Over the back there is a little bit of what used to be wood chip mulch. Anyway, coming over here, oh, lots of work to do. I've got daffodils coming up all over the place through here. There's a flower right there. I have picked one. I took it into my lovely wife. Oh, did I show you these before? These pots are full of pineapples. Now, I grew these from two pineapples. Each one of them had multiple heads. They divided into 23 and 30 um, heads, and they grew. And look, I've got pineapples coming. Isn't that exciting? And these are, oh, got to remember what they are. Anyway, I'll come back to that. But here's my potatoes. This is the last lot that I put in. And they're still growing in July. But as you can see, it starts to diminish. Right here are some sweet potatoes growing through and more potatoes growing here. And this is the middle section of potatoes that were growing with sweet potatoes growing in here. See the sweet potato, they're going nicely in there. And down this way, Oh, this is lovely. I should have shown you that. This is my pomegranate, uh, not pomegranate. Um, I can never remember the name of them. Oh, I'll come back to that again. Anyway, you can see there's lots of weeds growing here. That's going to help me later on with mulch. But most of the potatoes are dying. And there's a weed in there. And I'm just starting to pick the potatoes. Now, they're not very large. There's not many of them. But this soil here, this is what I'm going to be using to grow my veggies in next year. Now there's not enough of it, but by doing all that work with the potatoes and putting nine layers together, I came up with this much material. And now this much material is going to help me to produce my next year's crop. My citrus trees, although they're loaded, He's going to die. In fact, quite a few are. I've got borers. I'm trying to treat them. Pyrethrum doesn't seem to work all that well on this, this level, but it's happening. And as you can see, I'm starting to rebuild this garden section, not just here now, but up there. And I'm hopefully going to turn this around into a much more usable section. Right here, we have the remnant of a tree that I showed you before. This is my starfruit tree, and I'm enjoying using the starfruit tree for uh, lots of things, but my wife's got mainly dried fruit out of it. We've made pies and everything, but it's almost time to ch cut him back pretty hard. The same with the pomegranate tree, and the same with my peach trees, which all have to start, I have to start working on. Whole stack of things going on, trying to work through different parts of the garden, and my macadamia tree, he's looking magnificent, but I think he's too big. But the beauty of that is they all fall. And here we have two peach trees. I'm afraid I think both of them are dead. This uh, next year will be something that I hope will be a lot better. I may have to plant a few extra things just to show you. There is my macadamias now. There's lots of them on the ground, and I've got to pick them up because that's the way I actually collect them, rather than climbing the tree. Anyway, I'll just show you this here as well. This is a garden that I usually grow my dahlias in, and it's right now ready for digging up and starting again. And hopefully that'll be a much more successful season than I had last year, because last year oh, they didn't grow all that well. Um, Possibly because I haven't changed the soil or fertilised them very well for some time. Oh, I'm just coming over to my black sapote 
he's still producing, he's still coming on. I can't see any at the moment, but they're here, there he is. And these are getting really ready for, nearly ready for eating. If you haven't tried the black sapote, the chocolate pudding tree, it is a wonderful tree. Anyway, I'll see you later. Thank you very much for your time again. Bye.